So we're over at Bodnant and in a little later on we're going to be looking at pruning laburnum for laburnum arches and there's an absolutely fabulous one at Bodnant. Uh, but this is pretty fabulous as well. This is in Bothrium coccinium, the Chilean firebush. And just look at it, these little sort of spidery flowers are just formed on these very, very tiny spurs. And it's a, it's a great plant, but of course it's slightly tender, so we've got to be really careful uh, if you ever plant one of these. And just over to this side, you can see we've got some a lovely cornice plant. And uh, cornice often layer themselves. Some of them are like the wedding cake tree, cornice controversa variegata, or cornice alternifolia variegata. But this, you can see, just lovely, ordinary cornice, looking really good here. Uh, so lots of lovely plants at Bodnant at the moment. So in order to ensure that you get a full canopy overhead and get all the racemes really filling out, one of the things you have to do is to prune it about four foot high in order to get a series of different branches so that then you've got it absolutely packed full above you. Otherwise, if you only left one or two stems in, you're just not going to get that beautiful sort of full laburnum arch as you can see here at Bodnan. <laughs> so what we've got here with the laburnum as you can see if you look closely that you've got a spur coming off the lateral here and you've got like the raceme has come off that spur so it's almost a spur on a spur so when you're pruning to create something like a laburnum arch it's a little bit like pruning apples you've got to look for the spurs and then you've got to keep them in so you get these lovely racemes. The other thing you need to think about if you're doing a laburnum arch is what to plant underneath it and here they've used azaleas really well but you can also use allium purple sensation so you've got the alliums coming up and then the laburnum racemes coming down and that can work really well so why not give it a go you can do it with laburnums you've seen you can do it with yew trees and then you can see that you get multi stems and then you can train it in and what it means is you get a full crown above rather than just one or two branches. So it makes it a lot, lot more dense in the canopy. But you can do it with a wide range of plants, hornbeam. And that's the way to get a really fantastic canopy and create this sense of curiosity and mystique and it really is a beautiful feature.